convictions Mikhail Kvasov, 34, Cook Mikhail Kvasov, personal profile in contact Mikhail Kvasov, who works as a cook in the city of Voronezh, was convicted of threatening to publish the personal address of a Moscow judge, Stanislav Minyan. Charges were brought against Kvasov because of a comment on Instagram concerning another defendant in the Moscow case, Konstantin Kotov, who was sentenced to four years in prison in September 2019. According to Kvasov's legal counsel Olga Pelsh, who acted on behalf of OVD Info, Kvasov's comment on Instagram did not mention Judge Mian Yin. On 10 December 2019, Kvasov was arrested in Voronezh and brought to Moscow. On 12 December, he was sent for psychological and psychiatric forensic examination. He signed a recognizance not to leave. On 5 March 2020, a Moscow district court imposed a 270,000 ruble £2, fine on Kvasov, who did not plead guilty. Judge Min Yin was recognized as a victim in the case. Kvasov is married with a daughter. Alexei Verisov, 46, musician, handyman Alexei Verisov, Svetlana Vidanova, Novaya Gazeta prior to arrest, Alexei Verisov lived in the village of Yakshur Body, which is 40 kilometers from Izhevsk. After school, he qualified as a bricklayer at a vocational school, working as a carpenter, a laborer at construction sites, and installed fireplaces. He also worked as a DJ in a local nightclub and wrote songs for clients. Verisov is charged with public calls to extremism concerning a comment made online on 16 September. On that day, Verisov uploaded a photo of Judge Alexei Krivorushko onto a group in the Contact social network. Judge Krivorushko had previously sentenced Stan at air defendant in the Moscow case, Pavel Ustinov, to three and a half years in prison. Beneath the photo, Verisov called for revenge against the judge. For this comment, he faces up to five years in prison. On 13 November, Verisov was imprisoned in a detention center. Two weeks later, he was included in an official register of extremists and terrorists. In December, the investigation requalified the charge to threats against a judge, and the charge of public calls for extremism was dismissed. The investigation explained this decision by claiming that Verisov had no intent of making extremist statements. The investigative committee also decided to change the measure of restraint from arrest to recognizance not to leave. In January, Verisov was ordered to pay a fine of 160,000 rubles, 1,650 pounds, as punishment and was convicted of threats against Judge Krivorushko. Verisov pleaded guilty to all charges, and his case was tried under special procedures, which means that evidence of his guilt was not reviewed during the hearing. André Barche, 21, student André Barche, Dimash Vets, media zoner before arrest, André Barche was a third-year student at the Moscow Aviation Institute, MAI, and also taught at the Physics and Mathematics School of Mai. Barshai signed an open letter by university students for the release of political prisoners and against the Moscow case. The investigation believes Barshai pushed a Russian National Guard officer in the back during the rally on 27 July. During the initial hearing, he pleaded not guilty. On 16 October, Barshai was sent to pre-trial detention. On 24 October, Barche's lawyer stated that his defendant was being pressured by his cellmates, in an attempt to force him to make a plea bargain. He was also told to get a haircut, as well as joking that he might be raped. On 27 November, Barche was sent to Moscow's Serbsky Institute for Psychiatric Examination. This decision was based upon the opinion of medical personnel who suspected that the young man could suffer an affective state or not be sane. On 27 December, the young man was transferred back to pre-trial detention. On 18 February, Barche was sentenced to a three-year suspended sentence.
he was found guilty of the alleged crime, though he did not plead guilty to the charges against him. During the trial, Barche stated that he had pushed a National Guard officer to stop him from beating people at the protest. Barche has pyelonephritis, a chronic kidney condition. Sergei Zurovtsev, 30, IT specialist Sergei Zurovtsev. Svetlana Vidanova, Novaya Gazeta Sergei Zurovtsev is another graduate of the Moscow Aviation Institute. He is a co-founder of company Shopster Analytics, which registers the amount of time customers spend in shops and how they move around them. In his spare time, he participated in powerlifting competitions. According to investigators, during the events of the 27th of July, Zurovtsev lifted a section of metal fence and hit a National Guard serviceman with it, and then tried to block movements of other law enforcement officers. Zurovtsev was detained on the 28th of November and charged with using violence against a state official without threatening their health. The next day, Zurovtsev was placed in pre-trial detention. The investigation, it turned out, was already finished, having taken a day and a half. On 24 December, Zurovtsev was sentenced to 2.5 years in a general regime penal colony. Samaridin Rajabov, 21, construction worker Samaridin Rajabov, personal profile in contact before arrest. Rajabov worked renovating apartments and recorded rap music. Investigators took Rajabov straight from the special detention facility where he was under administrative arrest for participating in the 27th of July rally. According to the investigation, Rajabov threw a plastic bottle at a National Guard serviceman. For this, he was charged with threatening to use violence against a law enforcement officer. After arrest, Rajabov was accused of participating in a riot, but in October this charge was dropped. Rajabov was held in a detention facility from 2 August. On 24 December, Rajabov was found guilty and sentenced to a fine of 100,000 rubles, 1,070 pounds. He was relieved from paying the fine based on time served in pre-trial detention and the financial situation of his family. Evgeny Erzunov, 24, Promotions Manager Evgeny Erzunov, Personal Profile in Contact Evgeny Erzunov graduated from Moscow State Technical University, MAMI. Prior to arrest, he worked at a company called M Video, organizing in-store promoters. He is married with an 18-month-old daughter. According to investigators, Erzunov posted a tweet containing threats against Moscow Judge Alexei Kriverushko. The tweet was posted under a photo of the judge, which was posted by another user of the social network. Erzunov was detained at Vnukovo Airport on 13 November. He was traveling with his wife to Rome on holiday. He was charged with threatening to murder a judge, and faced up to three years in prison. On 14 November, Erzunov was placed in a pre-trial detention center. On 24 December, Erzunov was fined 130,000 rubles, 1,390 pounds, as punishment. With time served, the fine was reduced to 110,000 rubles. Erzunov fully admitted his guilt, the case was heard without examination of evidence. The defendant declined the services of an attorney from Agora International Human Rights Group. He was represented by a court-appointed attorney, Eduard Malashevsky, 47, decorator Eduard Malashevsky, Svetlana Vidanova, Nova Gazeta Eduard Malashevsky studied to be a cook, in recent years he has worked renovating apartments. Prior to arrest, he used to help his daughter from his first marriage. He currently supports two minor dependents. Malashevsky was charged with using violence against a police officer. According to investigators, on 27 July Malashevsky, while inside a police van, pushed out one of the van's windows, which then hit a riot police commander. The officer felt physical pain and dizziness, but was not injured because he was wearing a helmet. Malashevsky was placed in pre-trial detention on 2 September.
On 9 December, he was sentenced to three years of general regime penal colony. He pleaded not guilty. At trial, attorney Alexander Aldef emphasized that Malashevsky had no intention of harming a police officer. Yiga Lesnik, 35, apartment renovator Yiga Lesnik, Svetlana Vidanova, Novaya Gazeta For the past several years, Yiga Lesnik lived and worked in Moscow. He moved to the city from Volsky, a town in the Volgograd region, where he graduated from a polytechnic college. Before arrest, Lesnik was unofficially employed at a mobile store and had a part-time job as an apartment renovation contractor. Lesnik is an active member of the anti-fascist movement. He organized several music concerts and Food Not Bombs events. He is also actively involved in animal rights protection activities, and regularly donated blood over a 10-year period. Lesnik is charged with kicking a National Guard officer as well as knocking another officer down together with another defendant, Alexander Myonikov. This charge carried a tariff of up to five years of imprisonment. During a search of his apartment, police officers threatened to plant bullets among his belongings and amphetamines on his girlfriend. While in temporary detention, Lesnik says he was pressured by other inmates who suggested he plead guilty and waive legal counsel. On 16 October, a court ruled that Lesnik should be placed in pre-trial detention. During the hearing, Lesnik stated that he disagreed with the charges and he had not used any violence against law enforcement officers. I impulsively pulled a National Guard officer away. They were beating a man and a woman who were asking for help. Somebody was covered in blood. I did not choose any physical violence, I just wanted to stop it, Lesnik said. On 6 December, Lesnik was convicted to three years in a general regime penal colony. He pleaded not guilty. Maxim Martintsov, 27, lab technician Maxim Martintsov, Nikita Sologub, media zoner Maxim Martintsov received vocational training prior to detention. He lived in Moscow and worked for a construction company. While working, he helped his grandparents financially. Initially Martin Sof, along with Yiga Lesnik and Alexander Milnikov, was charged with knocking a National Guard officer to the ground. However, at the first hearing, Martin Sof's lawyer said that after reviewing the video of the incident, Martin Sof was accused of having hit a law enforcement officer who was lying on the ground. On 16 October, Martin Sof was sent to pre-trial detention. The charges against him carried up to five years in prison. On 6 December, Martin Sof was sentenced to 2.5 years in a penal colony. He did not plead guilty to the alleged crime. Alexander Milnikov, 32, Facilities Manager Alexander Milnikov Svetlana Vidanova, Novaya Gazette to Alexander Milnikov worked as a facilities manager for a Moscow company. He and his wife have three young children. They also have an outstanding mortgage, and his wife is not currently employed. Milnikov was charged with using violence against a National Guard officer. According to investigators, Milnikov, along with Yiga Lesnik, began kicking the officer, and then knocked him to the ground. On 16 October, Milnikov was placed under house arrest. On 6 December, Milnikov was sentenced to a two-year suspended sentence. He was also assigned three years of probation. He pleaded not guilty. Milnikov signed a recognizance not to leave the country for the period of the sentence. Nikita Chertsov, 22, student Nikita Chertsov. Vladokshin, Novaya Gazeta Nikita Chertsov was studying to become a programmer in Moscow. Before arrest, he was self-employed. Soon after the 27th of July rally, he went to Belarus on vacation. On the 28th of August, Chertsov was detained by police in a hostel in Minsk, as he was on a Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs wanted list. He was included in the database following the 27th of July rally. Chertsov was then deported to Moscow and was prohibited from entering Belarus for 10 years. 
Two days after he returned to Russia, he was detained. He was charged with violence against a state representative, which does not endanger human health. Allegedly, Chertsov intentionally pushed a policeman with both hands in the chest during the rally. Chertsov was placed in pre-trial detention on the 3rd of September. On the 6th of December, Chertsov was sentenced to a year of general regime penal colony. He pleaded not guilty. The policeman who was allegedly assaulted stated during one of the hearings that he did not feel any pain, but just moved backward. Yegor Zukov, 21, student Yegor Zukov, Vlad Dokshin, Novaya Gazeta Yegor Zukov was a political science major at Moscow's Higher School of Economics. Prior to arrest, he ran a libertarian video blog with 145,000 subscribers. He was planning to run in elections to the Moscow City Council, but decided to drop out of the race. Initially, Zukov was charged with participation in mass riots because he allegedly directed other protesters during the 27th of July events. Under these charges, he was held in a pre-trial detention facility from 2 August. On the 3rd of September, the charges of participation in mass riots were dropped. However, Zukov was then charged with a public call for extremism via the Internet, and was put under house arrest. The investigation claims that Zukov has decided to involve the general public in his extremist activities, which were directed at destabilizing the socio-political environment in Russia. These charges were based on videos published on Zhukov's YouTube channel in 2017. On the 6th of December, Zukov received a three-year suspended sentence and was recognized as guilty of the public call to extremism. He was also sentenced to three years of probation. He has received a two-year ban on administering websites. Vladimir Emelianov, 27. Merchandise of Vladimir Emelianov, Dmitry Shvets, media owner Vladimir Emelianov majored in management at the Moscow Academy for Industry and Finance. Before arrest, he worked as a merchandiser. Emelianov is diagnosed with asthma, he is an orphan and had been living with his grandmother, 74, and great-grandmother, 91. Before being taken into custody, he was looking after both of them. After his detention he was put in a cell with detainees who smoked, despite his asthma. According to investigators, during the events of 27 July Emelianov seized a National Guard officer by their body armor and pulled them towards him, by which he deprived the said state representative of their freedom of movement and causing physical pain. Emelianov is charged with use of violence that does not endanger human life or health against a state representative. This charge carries a sentence of up to five years. On 16 October, Emelianov was arrested for two months. In court, Emelianov said that he had attempted to prevent the illegal actions of National Guard officers who were beating up protesters. A video of events between Emelianov and law enforcement officers was published by Doge TV channel. Emelianov reports that he was pressured by his cellmates in detention. The latter urged him to plead guilty, cooperate with the investigation and decline independent legal support. On 6 December, Emelianov was sentenced to a two-year suspended sentence. He pleaded not guilty. Pavel Novikov, 32 Pavel Novikov, Svetlana Vidanova, Novaya Gazeta Pavel Novikov graduated from Moscow State University of Medicine and Dentistry, with a specialization in orthopedics and dentistry. He is not officially employed. In court, Novikov stated that he gets by with odd jobs. According to investigators, Novikov hit a policeman with a water bottle on the head. The policeman was wearing a helmet at the time. The prosecution also states that Novikov hit the policeman one more time on the right shoulder. These actions allegedly caused pain to the police officer. Novikov was accused of using violence against a state representative, without endangering their health. He did not plead guilty. On 30 October 2019, Novikov was placed in pre-trial detention.
On 6 December, Novikov was sentenced to a fine of 120,000 rubles, 1,300 pounds. He pleaded guilty in court and apologized to the policeman. Kirill Zhukov, 28 Kirill Zhukov, personal profile in contact Kirill Zhukov previously served in Russia's internal military forces, and was involved in providing security at the 2014 Sochi Olympics. In 2010, he volunteered to put out wildfires, and previously worked as a train driver for the Moscow Metro. He was found guilty of violence against a National Guard officer for trying to lift the visor of his helmet, and sentenced to three years in prison. Evgeny Kovalenko, 48, Railway Security Guard Evgeny Kovalenko, media zone Evgeny Kovalenko was found guilty of using violence against a state representative without endangering their health. The case against Kovalenko is based on the fact that he threw a garbage can at a National Guard officer, hitting the latter's leg. Kovalenko does not dispute that he threw the garbage can, but he does argue that the garbage can wasn't thrown to cause the officer harm. He was sentenced to 3.5 years in prison. Ivan Podkopayev, 25, Technician Ivan Podkopayev personal profile in Vkontak Ivan Podkopayev was charged with violence against a state representative without endangering their health. According to the prosecution, Podkopayev used pepper spray against several police and National Guard officers, as Podkopayev pleaded guilty. The case was heard according to special procedure, a trial without examination of evidence. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to three years in a penal colony. On appeal, Podkopayev withdrew his guilty plea and, and his sentence was reduced to two years. Daniel Biglitz, 27, self-employed Daniel Biglitz, C, Commerce and Photo Agency slash Super USA slash PA Images. All rights reserved Daniel Biglitz was sentenced to two years in a penal colony for pulling a police officer's hand while the latter attempted to detain protesters. He was convicted of using violence against a state representative without endangering their life or health. Biglitz pleaded guilty, and the case was heard according to special procedure, a trial without examination of evidence. During the court hearing, Biglitz stated that he provides for two juvenile children in addition to his wife, who is unable to work due to two caesarean sections and heart issues. He also told the court that he regularly sends money to his mother, who has health problems. During the hearing, Biglitz apologized to the officer whose hand he pulled, and said he transferred 10,000 rubles as compensation for emotional distress. He was sentenced to two years in prison. Pavel Ustinov, 23, actor Pavel Ustinov, personal profile in contact Pavel Ustinov graduated from the Konstantin Rykin High School of Performing Arts, and then served in the National Guard. He participated in police cordons during 2018 Football World Cup matches in Russia. After the National Guard, he became an actor and starred in a TV series, Trader, and a film, Attraction According to the investigation, Ustinov twisted the shoulder of a National Guard officer while resisting arrest on 3 August. Pavel was found guilty of using violence against a state representative which endangered human life or health. On 20 September, four days after the verdict was announced, the Moscow City Court released Ustinov from pre-trial detention on his recognizance not to leave the country. This happened following a request by the prosecutor's office. At the same time, the prosecutor's office initially asked for a sentence of six years in prison for Ustinov. The request to change the measure of restraint was filed by the prosecutor's office the day after the verdict, following the start of a public campaign to support the actor. At the same time, despite the fact that Ustinov was released from detention, he was still convicted. The appeal was planned to take place on 23 September, 
but the court postponed the appeal in order to watch a video of Ustinov's arrest, which shows that the man did not resist the police. During a session of the Moscow City Court on 30 September, Ustinov's verdict was reduced from 3.5 years in prison to a one-year suspended sentence. Ustinov thus remains convicted of using life-threatening violence against a National Guard officer, Konstantin Kotov, 34, programmer Konstantin Kotov, personal profile in Facebook Konstantin Kotov was sentenced to four years for repeatedly violating Russia's statute on organizing public events. Kotov's participation in four peaceful protests served as grounds for initiating criminal proceedings. The prosecution argued that he had made calls to protest when independent candidates were not admitted to the Moscow city elections in 2019. Technically, Kotov was not prosecuted for attending the rally on the 27th of July, but OVD info includes him in this list as he was detained after a sanctioned rally on the 10th of August. Two days later, the authorities launched a criminal case against him. The ensuing investigation was completed in record time, within two and a half days. On 5 September, Kotov was sentenced. Vladislav Sinitsa, 30, financial manager Vladislav Sinitsa, Vlad Dokshin, Novaya Gazeta prior to arrest, Vladislav Sinitsa worked as a financial manager. On 31 July, Sinitsa posted a reply to another Twitter user about the need for police officers to show their badges at public assemblies. In the tweet, he made a statement which suggested that children of courageous law enforcement officers might not return home from school one day. Following the tweet, Sinitsa was detained on 4 August and sent to a pre-trial detention center in court. Senator denied his guilt and claimed that he had not made any calls for unlawful action. He acknowledged that he wrote the tweet. Sinitsa was found guilty of inciting hatred and enmity towards law enforcement officers and their family members. He was sentenced to five years in a penal colony. Let's block ads. Why?